for tonight, and I would like to introduce two of my special friends from, uh, one is from Myanmar, uh, Reverend uh, Kimpu, Pastor Kimpu from Vietnam Baptist uh, Memorial Church in Chin State, and Dr. Zam Pao is from United Kingdom. Would you please stand up, please? So, he came all the way from United Kingdom, and he preached the gospel here, traveling across United States, so he's been doing a great work for the God, for the kingdom. Amen. And thank you, everybody, all the pastors. I met a new friend here today, uh, Pastor James, uh, Sam, right? From uh, First Baptist Church, downtown Portland. So he's from India, too. I'm from India. I'm from Mizoram. He's from Tamil Nadu uh, originally. So uh, it, I'm really glad uh, to meet him today. <laughs> Can I have uh, my whiteboard, please? Whiteboard. Uh, whiteboard, man. And then just like me. Uh, today our Bible study will be taken out from Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 to 20. It will be like a short Bible study. I'm not going to take too much of time. So uh, if you pay attention, uh, uh, at the end of the Bible study, I'll give you a pop quiz. If you answer it correctly, uh, Brother Lung, uh, Dr. Lung has uh, 10 gift cards. Each of them have $10. You have the chance to win. Ten dollars. So please listen very carefully. So for the sake of time, I just want to give you a few minutes of your time. So for the sake of our time, let's give them to the nitty gritty. How about that? Amen. So for the sake of our time, let's get down to the nitty gritty. How about that? That's good. Okay. Ephesians chapter six. If you have your Bible, turn with me. Ephesians chapter six, from verse ten to. 20. So we are going on God's speed, so it will be, be fast. Okay, good. Okay. Let's read. Verse 10, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against the flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual, spiritual forces of evil in the heaven, heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of the evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of a righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, in all addition to all this, Take up the shield of faith, which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the Spirit in all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me. That whenever I speak, words may be given me, so that I will fearlessly, in other words, boldly make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador of chains. Pray that I may declare in fearlessly, I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Uh, do you want to read in Burmese version or it's okay? Oh, oh, just a short okay. read. Okay. ซัมมารายส์ตนุเอเปจันเดียเนี่ยพี่รอไคจอกขั้นเนี่ยตะเสียเนี่ยพี่รอ <laughs> การตะไหนเนาะยงจีจิ้นติหูดอลวาโกเลยขัดไตเนาะลั่นเนี่ยอปอมมาทัศน์ยู่จ้ะเนาะเกเรจิ้นติหูดอตันขม่อลงโกละ
Okay. Once you decided to follow Jesus, once you proclaim your mouth the, as the Sunday school kids uh, recite their memory verse, uh, Romans 10, 9. If you declare in your mouth, with your mouth, Jesus Christ is the Lord and believe in your heart, he resurrected from death. That means the moment you declare Jesus is your Lord and Savior, that's when the enemy, the devil, declares war on you. For truly believers, a true believers, if you really, really accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, you have the enemy. And your enemy is not, the Bible says, our weapons are not carnal. Our, we wrestle against not the flesh and blood. That means your enemies are not your church members. Some people, when they pray, Lord, help me to defeat my enemy. You know what? In their imagination, their pastors, their pastors' wives, their elders, their friends come to their imagination. As a matter of fact, they are not their enemies. As a matter of fact, we don't have enemy on the earth. Even the non-believer who persecuted against us. That's why Jesus said on the cross, who, who, uh, who, uh, who beat him, who like spear hit him on his here on his side, and he prayed for them, saying that, Lord, forgive them, for they do not know, for they do not know what they do. We have to know that our enemies is the devil. If you understand this concept today, you walk out, you are going to walk out of this room, uh, champion for Christ, as a champion for Christ, and you'll kick the devil's butt. Right now, the devil doesn't want you to understand this concept. I would like to draw two circles here today. This circle, the first circle, represents our physical realm. This physical realm is controlled by spiritual realm. The Bible says, heavenly, heavenly realm. Because we live on earth, on this physical world, we have time. We have, a, we have a problem with the time. I have a problem with the time. And many of you are like, let's go to church. And you say, no, I don't have time. Let's go to song practice. I don't have time. Because you live on the physical world. And here, some of them, some people live up to 50 years and then go to hell when they die because they never accept Jesus the Lord. Some of them live like uh, 30 years and some of them live like uh, 70 years and go to heaven. Because our physical world, we live in a physical world, that means we are dealing with time. We have time, there's age, there's like uh, weeks, months, years, because we live in the world in a physical realm. But on the other hand, the second circle represents eternity. This is the heavenly places, like the spiritual realm. It doesn't have beginning. It goes round and round and round and round, never ends. You know, it goes round, it goes round and round, like wheel and the bus go round and round. You know, it goes mm -hmm. round and round and round. So eternity doesn't have anything to do with time. There's no month, there's no hour, there's no minute. So when you die, your physical body died, but your spirit lives forever. 
The problem is, where do you end up when you die? You could end up to eternal hellfire or heaven. There are some two options. So that means, that's why our, our enemies is not from physical world, but from these heavenly places. The spiritual darkness. Here it says, the Bible says here, we, our struggles is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, the principalities, against the power of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm, in the spiritual realms. That means this world is controlled by the spirit, whether, Holy, whether it could be Holy Spirit, your life could be controlled by the Holy Spirit or evil spirit. That's why the devil is very successful in creating his world, uh, in controlling people by, you know, uh, uh, demonic forces. Now we live in a, in a world, a culture, contr- uh, greatly controlled and manipulated by the devils. And the devil has a very unique way of influencing people. Like, you know... Everything, when you see the lyrics, when you, see, when you sing a song like a secular, there's no word without a sexually explicit lyrics. When you watch the movie, there's no scene without a little scene of sexually explicit scene. When you look at your social media, there's, we can see a lot of sexually explicit images. Now, a lot of people are caught in this kind of sexual images in their imagination so fantasy when you have a fantasy like a sexual fantasy that means today's your sexual fantasy will be tomorrow's adultery so a lot of people are caught up in this kind of uh devil's tactic so the devil's like very successful now the bible says uh during the time of noah uh during the time of noah the world is corrupt sexually immoral and violence full of violence and jesus said on the Olivet Discourse, Matthew chapter 24, it says, At the end of the time, when I'm going to come back, the world will be like the time of Noah. You see, the world today is exactly the time of Noah. The world is full of, you know, our culture is controlled by sexual, sexually explicit everything. You know, pornography. Why do you have like an addiction to pornography? Because the devil's work. Why do you have an addiction to drugs, to, you know, uh, alcohol? Because the devil controls your mind. You don't want to do, you don't want to drink alcohol, but still you drink it because the devil controls you on the heavenly places. That's why we have to know this. Today, if you put the full armor of God, you will be able to stand firm against the temptation of the devil. Sadly, Today's world, in today's world, 70% of Google search, from Google search, is pornographic related. That's why, you know, the world is full of corruption, sexual immoralities, and God is going to clean. Not like the day of Noah with flood, but it's some sort of uh, punishment. And when uh, there will be a time God will call us, that is, will be caught up in the air. That is called rapture. So, God will take His people out from the dark world. Because like I said, the world is controlled by the dark world. Uh, Rabbi Jonathan said that there are more witches in America than there are Presbyterian church. There's Presbyterian people. This world is controlled by the witches. Witchcraft, a lot of witchcraft, sexual immoralities, all those things are controlled and manipulated by the devil. So the works of the... De- we are uh, having the demonic force. So I, I, I'm sorry, I can't stop it. You know, because this is so important, so vital today in our... Uh, today's world, we have to know this. So I can't stop, I'm sorry. It's good. And it's sad that I got in a local mode to appear on your two sound in a pity. Today, do you have your own piece of chia solution? Solution, you know, local mode, you know, G later come out, you know, phone about a G later, and then much, you know, G later come out. The lane, but that they have a 
ဒီနေ့လူတွေကိုဖြန်ရောင်တွေးဆောင်နေတဲ့အချိန်ကဖြစ်တယ်နော်အာလက်ထပ်ကဲ့သို့လူတွေကပြစ်စီးတကဲ
prove that I save the lost souls and God will give me a crown like the stars on my head. Hallelujah. And then number five, sword of the spirit, sword of the spirit, uh, the sword of the spirit, uh, the sword. Now we have the, uh, the the soldiers have guns, right? But back in the days when they fight in the world, they have a sword. Uh, the sword in a spiritual realm is called the word of God. This is the. This is our weapons. This is our sword. Hallelujah. Amen. The best way to resist temptation is because, uh, like the psalmist, like David says, I hide the word of God in my heart so that I may not sin against God. When you memorize a lot of scripture in your heart, every moment, every de- demonic attack comes, you'll be able to stand strong and firm for Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Lastly, uh, the last one, the most exciting one. Now soon to cool. When they say the last one, you, you get excited because the sermons, uh, the Bible study is going to end, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Shield. Shield. Shield is like uh, faith. Faith. Shield that means you have the shield so that the enemies, when the enemy comes, he will not be able to defeat you because your shield will save you. Real last. Real last, okay? <laughs> Prayer. Paul says, pray for me. Pray, your prayer is... The, uh, the greatest weapon for a Christian, for believers, for a follower, disciple of Jesus Christ. There, uh, there's a huge difference between believer and disciples, followers. We are not just merely a believer, we are a follower of Jesus. Amen? Daniel was praying to God. On the first day, his prayer, was, his prayer was heard by the Lord. And he directed the angel to bring meshes to Daniel. It was mentioned in Daniel chapter 10 verse 12. When the, de- uh, when, uh, when, when the angel of the Lord come down, it says the prince of Persia was blocking him, preventing him to go down there. You know, we have to understand that there are supernatural, demonic forces working actively in our world today. And then what we have to do right now is like pray like a Daniel prayer. Daniel fasting prayer. Daniel fast prayer is very important. We have to pray until we get the result. Keep on praying, praying, praying. Never stop. Three weeks, for three weeks, Daniel was praying fervently. And then, you know what happened? The archangel Michael came down from the heavenly throne and beat the prince of Persia, the strong demonic control. And then the angel of the Lord was able to deliver a message for Daniel. Let's not weary in doing good. Because if we fail not, there will be time. God will give us the result. P- prayer is the most important weapons that we have today. Hallelujah. Do you agree with me? Okay. I'll put this away. I'll ask you the question now. Can you turn this off so that we can ask a question? Uh, where's my gift cards? Okay, right there. <laughs> I'll ask this section first. I will ask this section first. Whoever got it right, just stand up, okay? If you stand up first, 
I'll point at you and then you'll say the, the answer. If it's correct, we'll give you the gift card. And if it's wrong, you'll not get the gift card. Okay. Number one. Number one. What is breastplate? Be oh, this side, this side. Oh, there. Steven. What is breastplate? Yeah, breastplate. Uh, breastplate uh, in, in, in a spiritual... What, did the, what does the Bible say? What, what, is, what did it say? Oh. Evangelist. Did you say righteousness? Okay. No. No, no, no. Okay. It, Let's put our hands together for him, for Stephen. <laughs> Good job. Okay, this section right here. <laughs> if, you, if you know the answer, just stand up, okay? Uh, you guys can help me to figure out who, got, uh, who stood first, who stands first. Okay, maybe what we'll is, in a spirit realm, what is a helmet? Dan, who, 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 who stood long. first? Who stood Dan, first? Long, okay, salvation. Zoom. Okay. He stood first. Okay. Okay, salvation. Salvation, okay, okay. Okay, number three. This section right here. Are you ready? Number two. In a spirit realm, what is belt? Come back up. Oh, he stood first. <laughs> he got it. This he got it right. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay. And then that section, what is equivalent to Shoes in the spirit realm. Okay. What's that? Peace. Uh, peace. Uh, we can take it, okay, but uh, <laughs> it's not entirely true. Okay. Shoes. Shoes. Yeah, the gospel. Okay. okay. We, we can okay. take it mommy, then. Mommy. <laughs> the gospel, yeah. <laughs> okay. The gospel of peace, actually. The, <laughs> The gospel, was, uh, the gospel was the main idea. Peace is the gospel, of course, but it's, uh, it's partially true. Okay, you can give it too. Okay. Thanks for trying. Anyway, thank you, thank you. Okay, good. And then... You guys don't want to try? You guys want to try too? Okay, this... This section, the last section right here. What is the sword of the Lord, the sword of the Spirit? The word of oh, God, no correct, yeah. The word of God. That is correct. Okay. okay. Who, okay, from here, Gail's prayer, right? How many weeks? Then, oh, right there. <laughs> okay, right here. Who was blocking, who was blocking the message? What? Oh, the Prince of Persia. Yes, correct. Yeah, Prince. Yeah. Okay, okay. The Prince of Persia. Okay. okay, the Prince of Persia is blocking him. And who rescued from the Prince of Persia? Oh, you already need to answer. You already answered. Back over there. <laughs> Back there. Yeah. What's that? Michael. Michael. Okay. <laughs> uh, Michael. Okay. Okay, zoom, zoom. You stand up, zoom, zoom. Since you tried every, every time, every question I raised, I'll ask you this very easy. What is belt? The truth. Okay, correct. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. That's all I have. Thank you so much. Thanks. God bless you. God bless everybody. God Thank bless you. you all. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you very much.